truthfulness. The Pali word is satcha, is one of the perfections we try to develop in our practice. And it doesn't simply mean saying true things. It means being a true person. True in the sense that you're willing to put yourself on the line, willing to test things if you want to discover what the truth is. John Lee once said that the reason we don't find the truth is because we're not true. We want to have everything handed to us on the platter. We want to have certainty before we practice. But yet that kind of certainty is always filled with doubts. The Buddha once said, there's really ultimately only one thing that's true, and that's nirvana. And the only way we're going to know what the true path to nirvana is, is by getting there. Then you can retroactively say, oh, that was the practice that got me to the right spot. Everything up until that point is experimentation. What you're experimenting with is your own body, your own words, your own mind. It seems like an awful lot to put on the line, but then the rewards are great, and the, the drawbacks of not attaining that reward those are great as well. So you take the Buddha's teachings in the meantime as your working hypothesis. And how do you test them? Well, you sit and you shape your words and your thoughts and your deeds in line with them. And it's not always easy. That's why this is called being true. This is why it takes strength of character. Because sometimes the easy task is to just lie down and let things take their course, or to just to do what you like doing. But there has to come a point where you see that that doesn't really take you where you want to go. You have to be willing to do things you don't like, but that hold out the possibility of taking you where you do want to go. You look at the various paths to happiness, and this one seems to make the most sense. Again, it makes sense. There may be doubts, because you haven't seen that happiness. So. You have to put your thoughts and words and deeds excuse me, on the line to test that working hypothesis. So on the one hand, you have enough confidence in it to be willing to test yourself. And there's always going to be an element of questioning, an element of weariness. And you want to figure out what kind of doubting or what kind of weariness is skillful and what's not. And you can learn that only through the practice. Because you simply blindly accept, well, this has to be the way it is, and throw yourself into a particular practice. You're not developing the qualities that lead to wisdom, that lead to discernment. You're not developing the quality of heedfulness that the Buddha said lies at the base of all skillful qualities. There has to be an element of wariness, but it can't be debilitating. That's, when, that's how you find the right balance. You check things out. You try them. You put them to the test. And how do you know when they pass the test? when you come across something that really is unchanging, that has nothing to do with space or time. Up until that point, you find things that seem to work. You seem to get to certain levels of concentration that sound like what you've read in the books. So you put a little post-it note, say, this sounds like that. 
sometimes you're right, and sometimes it turns out you overestimated or underestimated yourself. But that's why it's a post-it note. You can peel it off and place that note someplace else if you find it's necessary. But the element of truthfulness is what keeps you trying, keeps you testing things, so that when you find something that's better or something that changes your old way of looking at things, you're willing to change. You don't sit back and wait until somebody can come along and give you the guaranteed real deal, and only then will you be willing to try it. Because that never happens. The only way you can know the truth is by testing the teachings. And you have to be true in giving and putting them to the test. And John Fuin once made the comment in his Dharma talking, but you look at the breath, is it true? Okay, it's truly there. Then the next question is, are you true? Are you going to stick with it to really see what it can do? And in the beginning you say, well, I think so. And it's only after practice, only after time, that you can say with utter confidence, yes, I am true. You approach that quality of truth in degrees. But you can be certain about yourself only when you become certain about the Dharma. And you can only be certain about the Dharma when you're certain about yourself. You test the Dharma and yourself in the same way. And you reach your conclusions at the same time. This is why the Dharma is special. Only people who are true can know the truth of the Dharma. 